Okay, just a short video to discuss the vertex and its position either before your initial position, uh, between your two positions that you're going from and to, or after the final position B. And it applies for both northern and southern hemispheres, providing it's in the same hemisphere that you're going. And if you use the formulas that are on the formula sheet, you can't really get this wrong. So this is how it works. You can see if we're going from this position to this, our initial course quadrantially must be named northeast, and the final course southeast. That's how you name them. Just simply use those quadrantials and use the formulas. If, when you use this formula, the angle on your calculator is less than 90 degrees for cos A, then the vertex must be in front of you. If the angle exceeds 90 degrees, then the vertex, vertex must be behind your initial position. Because you name it quadrantially, so let's say it's 110 degrees on your calculator, north 110 east is a course of 110, which means that you're not going northeast, which means that the highest point of the vertex must occur before your initial position. And of course, just to mention, if the angle you actually get is exactly 90 degrees, you are actually at the vertex. So if the calculated angle of A exceeds 90, the vertex must be before A. The same rule applies when you are calculating the final course. Less than 90 degrees, then the vertex will be between A and B. Remember you're naming the course southeast. If the angle exceeds 90, then the vertex must be after B, because the course you're actually going, final course, would actually be northeast. So this rule applies whether you're going northern or southern hemisphere. Just follow that simple rule whether the calculator value is less than 90 or more than 90. And just to quickly look at going between hemispheres, if you were going from say Cape Town to New York, then you'll find that your angle will always exceed 90, your vertex will be before your initial position, after the final position, and another thing to remember, when you naming or naming the final course, it is named as the hemisphere you are in finally. So here you would name your final course Northwest. Okay, you must name it Northwest, and of course the initial one here you would name as Southwest. So just follow that simple rule, you can't go wrong regarding the vertex. And of course I cover all this on my uh, website.